word. For example, how many people do you know, even whether you know them personally or whether you know them through the internet or fame or whatever, who have pushed gender pronouns? What do you mean by gender pronouns? They and them. It's not a he or she. And- it's not a he or she. It's they or them. Oh, is this is this what it looks like when someone just doesn't use the internet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The fact that this I is bewildering you. I I just say he or she, mate, to be honest with you. <laughs> but do you know? Are you aware of the gender pronouns thing? What is it? Yo, wait, can I preface? Can I preface before you start explaining it, to, uh, um, Alexander? CJ, please don't react in a way that will offend people because it is very, very touchy subject. So when Alexander explains this, just I'm giving you pre warning to not to not say the shit that. So <laughs> wait, let him explain. So what I should expl- count it. I count ten seconds before I talk. Yes. Yes. Or maybe twenty yes. seconds. All right, Alexander, <laughs> give it, give it, give us your best. Okay, so gender pronouns, in its essence, is the idea that it's fine to call someone he or she based off of your observation of them. So him, her, he, she. However, if they correct you and say that's not, well, I don't go by a gender pronoun, they can give you an alternative. And then you respect that. And an alternative that is common is they, them. Which would be, instead of you saying to Dev, he, she, you'd say, or he, him, you'd say, they, them. So if I was talking about Dev, uh, it's always hard to come up with examples for the the pronouns. (laughs) Um, I was talking talking to Dev, and they told me that they like to wear hats. Instead of he told me that he likes to wear hats. Yes, Siege? See, see, me personally, with they and them, like, if I say, oh, look at them, I feel like I'm being discriminative. Like, because I'm looking at them as them. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, it's like you're ostracizing them. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're not really... Looking at like, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not sure how to explain it. Like, I'm just not. Yeah, I understand what you're saying because those words were used yeah. as like um, in racial terms. They were like those people, yes, right. them people. They yeah. were. They did yeah. it. That's why it's weird when I'm hearing the they and them in the gender. Uh, what is it called? The gender. I dance gender. I gender. Uh, the, yeah, the yeah, whatever, right? So that those words were used in uh, racial, yeah, to do mis- discriminate, yeah. yeah, to actually separate people. And now you want us to use it? You're changing the meaning for us that we've known it for so long. I think, yeah, and it makes me feel like un- it make me feel uncomfortable because I feel like I'm being discriminative towards. It's not inclusion. People. It's not inclusion words, if that makes sense. Yeah. Exclusive words, inclusive, inclusive. That's the word. Inclusive words. Yeah. So to give you another twist so on, on the confusion is they're also plural, not singular. Typically, they've been used for plural. Like, them is a group of people. They is a group of people, not an individual person. Now, I had an experience for the first time since this whole conversation where someone was referring to someone with they, them as their pronouns, and it wasn't a conversation before that happened. Because normally, this... this this is still so new as a concept that if someone's going to be referred to as they or them, there's normally a, like a disclaimer or a preface beforehand. Oh, by the way, this person, excuse me, this person goes by they or them. And then you have a conversation about them or with them and you use those pronouns. So like you're, you're mentally warmed up, ready to expect that. But then I was watching Philip DeFranco and he was referencing about, I think it's Trisha Paytas, which was like a couple of weeks ago. Mm. And he didn't mention anything about the gender pronouns. He was just talking about her and talking about a situation she was in. And it was a situation with her and another person on, I think it was like the H3 podcast or something. But yeah. they, they've been working together as a group. And by they, I mean both of them. Yeah. Um, and 
there was some conflict that was going on and the guy Ethan, the co-host, has like yeah. a team of people. Yeah. So I know there's a group and the conversation was related to him and his team. And then Philip was talking about Trisha. But he kept saying they. So I, in my head, it took me until like the end of the segment that I realized he was talking about just her. I thought he meant her and her team because we were talking about him and his team. So he must be talking about her and her team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was just, and then this, I can't, there was some phrasing that made me realize he was talking about just her. I was like, that was super confusing. Like, <laughs> I did not get that at all. Um, so I found that, that side of it beyond the exclusion and discrimination i find even just to understand who you're talking about quite yeah, difficult you're actually changing the definition of how we use it in a sentence aren't you really yeah that's that's an like i well, I, I, I struggle with english as it is don't change the definitions <laughs> halfway on when i'm trying to master english now don't change it now i'm gonna get more confused well, there you are can't change the rules you can't change the rules on me now I'm too old to learn new rules. <laughs> You're not that old, Jesus. You, you, you can't change the rules to the game, you know, at, at this period of time in my life. Why not? Okay? Why not, Siege? I, I'm, I'm, I, I try to be polite to everybody, mm. right? And maybe me being trying to be polite, you know, I, I don't want to offend anyone. Mm. But I feel personally, if I say like they or them, I'd, I'm being rude. Yes, that's how we got taught. That's how we got taught growing up, not yeah. to say they or them. But now it's yeah. sort of, it's like, even, wait, wait, can I, even she and he, we were told not to say that. So I think God, there's something about this that I'm really confused about. And this is, I would love to have a sit down with someone who goes by a different gender pronoun to yeah. what is normal and have a conversation and ask about these things. Because as you said, a CJ, well, CJ, something you said, which to me is really poignant about this whole thing is I don't feel comfortable calling them they and them because of the way of what that means to me. Mm. And this idea to me, from, from my understanding of this idea, and this is why I want to have this sit down, is the reason for these difference in gender pronouns is largely to do with the assumptions that society puts on the terms he, him, she, her. Mm -hmm. so i mean there are other cultures in the world many of other cultures in the world where there are more than two genders but mm -hmm. in western culture we have two genders he and she and along with that there are societal assumptions that are aligned with those now the reason you want to break away from he him she her is because you don't want people to assume those assumptions about you just because they're using those words and associating them with you which to me is confusing because you don't want me to call you, let's say he, because you're assuming that I'm going to assume things about you. But I might call you he and put none of those societal assumptions on you. I'm just using that word because it's my best visual representation. That's, as we said, the language I grew up with and the easiest way for me to be able to communicate with you without it being a confusing conversation where I can't actually focus on what we're talking about. I'm now focusing on how do I approach you? Mm. It's the same, like to me and, and because also the gender pronouns and uh, gender identities, like there's just so many differences and variations of them now. Mm. And I, like, for example, they, them, I don't believe every person who wants to be called they, them interprets that in the same way. Like I believe they all interpret it in their own way. So then, at what point, how many different dissections do you go down with this to get different ones? And at what point, isn't that what the purpose of names are for? Like, isn't the entire purpose of a name to make you unique and, I, and that be your identity? Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, I just get confused by it because I don't understand where... Yeah, it'll be good uh, to have a conversation with actually with someone that's like understands the ins and outs of um this new language the the new like it's a new language like when you change the definition it's a it's a new language quick question is this something um 
gender neutral? Is that what we're saying? People want to be called? Or was this something that people think they want to be called? What do you mean think? You, you know how sometimes people are offended for someone else? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Yeah, no, no. This so. is like um, like the, like the person themselves not might not be offended, but someone else might be offended for them. That's not gender neutral, is it? Is it? The... That's not what you. Isn't it? No, no. It's not. I'm, I'm saying. I'm just giving an example. Oh, okay. Is this one of those occasions where people who are not part of that community have come up and go, "Hey, they don't like being called this. Let's call them that." Mm. No, no, the gender or, gender or, neutral or, or, people or are driving the... it. But there are definitely okay. people outside of the community who support and then will push, but they're not doing it. They've not decided it for people. Like, there is a community of people so who have decided it for themselves. What made them choose they or them? It's the difference. <laughs> I think it's the differentiation because it's not he, she, but it's still some, it's words we're still familiar with. So it's not like but bringing it, completely new words it, it, that then would just be like, it's Whoa. an it's exclusive. Like, we're excluding them, right? So there are, we're there are circumstances, and again, the examples are always really hard to come up with, but there are circumstances where we have historically used they and them for individuals. Not an exclusive sense. Not in a weird way. Um, again, like, it's, examples are so hard. Um, but... In the same way that we would use they and them in the way that people who identify with those pronouns now want to be used, we have used them in the past, but we didn't use them in isolation as the only pronouns for people. So I was talking to Dev, he was telling me about all this and, and whatever, and then, so again, it's hard, but like, and they went, and I'm talking about Dev, and I'm like, and they went some, and... It's really, again, it's, examples really hard. I've seen some where I'm like, oh yeah, no, that, we definitely have said things like that. But it, it, it's normally like yeah. maybe one time in a sentence, not multiple times yeah, referencing the we, same person with they and them. We've never used they and them as a, um, like we use male and female as your gender. We've never used they and them as a gender. Yeah, Not as a new. gender, but as an identifier. I d yeah, identify. It's, this is a new language. That's what I'm saying. Man. I feel sorry for the young people. It's going to get very confusing. I mean, I again, I, I think, to me, there's... If you want change, I think a big part of wanting change is making it it's not about making it easy for people, but it's about making it sustainable and making it something that makes sense as opposed to, and I'm not trying to suggest this doesn't make sense, but when I say that, what I mean is like, if, f when, when segregation I, was ending, when, say when people were trying to um, increase the rights of minorities, yeah. um, they didn't, it, they didn't do that by trying to introduce things that were a different, it is a different way to the way society works, but they didn't do it in a way that was different to things that were already in place. They just increased the, ex they increased the scope of who had access to certain, to, to those things. So it wasn't like as black people, we want to be able to do this thing that hasn't been done before. It's just as black people, we want to be able to do this thing that other people already do. So to me, this is why I say names like, you c it can be overkill using a name a lot of times, but it's more natural. Like if I wanted to talk about Dev, I was talking to Dev and Dev told me he likes to wear hats and he and Dev really likes these kinds of hats. Like that's a much easier transition for me to be able oh, to, to do say, that. Use the name instead of he use or she. The name oh right, okay, of, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay. And then you that. eliminate all he she. You eliminate any assumption because if I'm talking about Dev, they don't know if I'm talking about Devin or Devon, or they don't know if it's a male or a female. It doesn't matter because yeah, the again, name. like they're trying to remove that anyway. Right. So that's where to me, and and also the thing about Dev is that removes all assumptions because I guarantee you, if you want to get away from societal assumptions by taking away he she, uh, uh, him her, he him, she her, 
you're just leveraging way more assumptions on you by going by they them because every person that you yeah. don't want to assume something about you are going to be the exact people who assume everything about you by being called they them whereas the people who will cooperate and call you they them are the people who never assumed anything by you to start with by calling you he him she her if you go by they them there are people out there who also assume you're a vegan at the same time <laughs> like this is what i mean like <laughs> yeah right as silly as that is to, that is, to yeah. link those two things together does that shock you that that exists? That no. mindset exists? No. This is what I like. Assumptions, are, as you're saying, it's just such a natural part of life. Yeah. It's how we engage as a species. It's, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, if, uh, I just, shout out, if, if you're, yeah. if you go by a different gender pronoun, contact us, get on the show. Let's have a chat. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and don't get me wrong. The, the, what I'm saying, I don't want to get it twisted. If you want to be called, uh, if you want to be, uh, what is the, what are we talking about? Gender what? Pronouns. Tr- gender pronouns. If you want to be called a certain, like, uh, they or them or whatever your pronoun you want to be, go for it. That's not what I'm saying. Go for it. It just doesn't make sense for the people outside of your circle. Like, it, t- it will take a while a long time for us to understand how to use it how, how to use it like how it's it's totally yeah i don't know have a we'll have a conversation <laughs> let's have a conversation right um but the other thing you know with the assumptions i wanted to talk about um just quickly i think it was the us office us office and they were playing um and they had a basketball a basketball comp in the factory and then he picked the only black guy in the Darryl, office <laughs> because he thought oh this guy would be good at basketball but he wasn't he was the worst player on the t- in the office and this is what i'm talking about assumptions when you're like f- just you oh let's play basketball <laughs> i know this guy this guy is gonna be a good player but he wasn't he was a horrible player but yeah i mean mate they made a whole film off of that white man can't jump yeah that's right yeah <laughs> it's the uh, i don't know that that daryl moment that is classic when he dribbled in the ball 